What's up, man? Cash phrase in the motherfucking house. Yo, what's up? What's up? Cash phrase from San Diego, Southern California. You know how we do over here. That's right, man. I gotta, I gotta give a special thanks to Cash phrase, man, because this motherfucker uh, brought me back in the game. He inspired me, you know. And uh, there was a few people when I came back that inspired me, and Cash phrase was one of them. And uh, appreciate you know, that, bro. My cousin Matty was the one that was showing me your videos. You know, one thing as I was, you know, I'm doing my studying. Not only am I doing my studying, I, I watch your stuff all the time. But yeah. uh, I noticed your evolution. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Some of your videos, you know, That's what's up. from I think five years ago, one yeah. of the ones that I see today, and then uh, you got a few that are a little bit older, but I'm yeah. point to the fullest at ASU. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, out, out my biz. Out my biz. You know what I mean? In the church, which I'm yeah. in that. Yeah, for the church. Yeah, I gotta give thanks to all that for my boy Christian Leva, LV, you know? Yeah. He's dope with the he's dope with the camera, man. That's why I still work with him to this day. As far as like singles and new stuff that you got coming out, what you gonna do, man? You know, you got you got it all mapped out? Yeah, well, you know, I've been doing it for a long time. For a, for a good while, for years, but uh, on online i've been doing it probably for like two three years bro yeah so it's like damn you know maybe i was just warming up maybe i was just warming up for it yeah you know and i'm here and i've been doing it and uh well my plan right now is to is to release singles release singles i don't want to throw out something to to people and then and they they not even listen to it because they don't know who i am you know what i mean yeah. so right now i'm just doing singles 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 and then uh, I do got a, a few projects coming up, a Spanish project, a, Sp uh, a project with my boy Savvy D and uh, Spliff Maserati. Yeah, I got, a, I got a few things coming, man. I'm excited and uh, I'm going to be revealing them month by month, you know. Oh, I got lit. Oh, my gosh. This song. Now, this is like some party shit, you know, and, and I, got, I got videos planned for these songs, too. So I'm, I'm going to release these songs, but I'm going to do videos with them like a few months after, you know, bring it back again. But uh yeah, they're very, they're very good songs. I feel like I've evolved, you know, to a different level. I guess, you know, the more you do it, the more you do it, you just, like, one, one day is like an epiphany, dude, a musical epiphany or some shit, you know? But, uh, but, yeah, I got this song called Lit. It's gonna be coming out soon. I'll be, I'll be probably showing it, sneak peeking it this month. And, uh, I, the theme is like party. I want it to be, like, in a party while, when, when I do the video. Yeah. You know, beer pong going on, maybe a pool, or something, something going on, you know, a lot of, a lot of activities. I'm excited to see that one, and uh, yeah, everybody I showed this song to, man, not one person did not like it. Like, it was, it's really dope, man. And that's, that's the second one. Um, I got No Fake Shit, produced by Babs, and uh, that's about to get released on the 13th of uh, January, 2020. It's about to come out, and um, man, I got a lot of music, bro. Like, I got projects coming out, Spanish project, a lot of singles. Yeah. Single, 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 maybe a project and then single, single, you know, like that. That's, that's how I'm thinking of doing it. But, um, yeah, there's, there's so many, bro. There's so, there's so many. I'm just excited. But this year, this year, a lot of new music is coming and being released, though. Not just being made. Hell yeah. After you do your singles, are you going to drop a full body of work, a full album? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they're almost done. The projects are actually almost done, but, but, uh, I want to throw in some singles first and some videos, yeah. you know what I mean? And then and then I'll get the project. I want to build a bigger fan base, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. First of all, that's that's the thing. That's the main thing is build a, a bigger fan base before I throw out an album so I have more people listening to all of them. Yeah, you know what I mean? I want I want all my songs to get heard, bro. You know what right. I mean? So I be following you and I see you always active. You're always rapping and doing your videos where you're rapping, where you know what I mean? I seen your Spanish raps, I mm -hmm. seen, you know what I mean, it's all on point, you know what I mean? I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, so that's it, man. They say that, too. They say that you should drop singles more than a full body of work. Yeah, because if you don't have a big fan base, who's going to want to live? Have you ever heard of somebody's full album that you've never heard of? Yeah, back in the day, that's how yeah. you do it. But now, no. Yeah, but like sometimes even when I, when I don't even hear a dude... I probably won't even buy the CD. Like I've seen them at Walmart or something. I sometimes do because I know the grind. Yeah. But when you don't have a big fan base, 
you, you're gonna waste a lot of songs because they're not gonna mic they might not go through all of them you know what i mean yeah. so a single is just one song you catch their attention quick if they like it you and know what i mean and they remember you from that single you know, exactly. It, it sparks your name in their brain. Yeah, if they have a connection to it in any way, you know? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. A few of the producers that are known, do you got anybody that you've been working with? Yeah, producers actually, I met them on IG, most of them, you know? Most of them. Yeah. And uh, I do have a couple homies that I, that I bought some beats off over here too, locally, you know? Uh, Tito Valentino, gotta give him a shout out. He has dope beats, bro. I uh, follow him on IG. He has, he ha he makes his beats with live instruments. Yeah, hell yeah. That's like a, he don't push buttons, bro. You know, that's what I like about it. And I got some beats. I haven't even wrote to those, but I have I already plotted a whole outline, a layout of the topic that I want to do, and it's gonna be way different than some. That's right. And how about artists? Um, what are some of the artists that you work with? Oh, okay. I've been happy to work with some pretty good artists this past year. Um, I work with RG from IMG. Yeah. He's doing his thing, pops to him, you know what I mean? It was good working with him, man. And uh, I went to LA uh, and I fucked with Baldacci. Yeah, I Baldacci. That awesome. Yeah, that was that was that was fun. That video was fun because it was acting, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. And it was it was really fun. It was exciting. Hell yeah. And um, for those that don't know the process of making a fucking video, dude, like your videos are like movies. Right. And when you put it all together, like, our, how are your ideas, and they real actors in your yeah, video, yeah, yeah. dude. How does that all, how does it come together like that? Well, I have, I first talked to uh, LV, you know yeah. what I mean? And I'd be like, hey, this is a song, send it to him, see uh, see what he sees, and then we go from there. If I, have a, if I already have an idea, I tell it to him, like, hey, I think this. So when you listen to it, think about that. You know what I mean? So we do that, and then uh, we start coming up with a, with a topic or an idea, and then we run with it, you know? Yeah, it's right. a lot of him, too, you know? It's a lot of him. But I like putting in my inserts, too, you know? And, and just so people know, LV Vision, that motherfucker gets busy on the uh, videos. Yeah, pop tell a lot of good people, too, Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. He, he makes movies, bro. Yeah, you know? hell yeah. He's grinding hard. That's right, man. It's always sick to have, like, people in your resume. That's why I'm asking you, like, the artists, you know, producers, and yeah. video producers, too, man. Yeah. That's crazy. That's the motherfucking, the, the lineup on deck yeah, on his you know? resume, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, fucking, who else? Uh, Babs Who on Instagram. Uh -huh. Yeah, he got those. Be uh, I'm about to release a track where, uh, where him produce. It's produced by him. Yeah. And uh, it's called No Fake Shit. That's just that's coming up. Right. Yeah, that's just hard. Yeah. And who else? Um, what's his name? Uh, ah, I forgot his name, my boy. Ah, that was dope. Basehead. Okay, Basehead. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to Basehead too. I got some songs coming up with him. Yeah, because everyone's going to be listening like, man, you forgot me. Yeah, right, right. Basehead. Uh, T Ford. The, um, Nav's Beats. He's from like Australia. I got produced from over there, and uh, yeah. Babs is from Chicago, I believe. Yeah, and um, yeah, um, video videographers with uh, RG and Zion Mejia, yeah. the brothers. So we were talking about this shit before I turn on the uh, before I turn on the camera about studios. Uh -huh. you know I mean? And uh, I'm gonna go back to your last album, which was Success Drive. Uh -huh. uh, where did you record that at? I recorded that with Loose Lyric, Loose uh -huh. Lyric Studios. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was fun too. Cool dude right there, man. Talented too. He, he makes good music. And uh, yeah, he's a good engineer. Yeah, that shit set up. Bam, bam, bam. It was fun. It was fun working right there. So now we're sitting in your studio and you, know? you put it together. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Fucking, and if you were to ask me, and I'm, you know, I, I fucking listen to everything, you can't tell a, much of a difference if you can't tell any difference. Uh, that's what's up, bro. So, you got your shit going on now, you know what I mean, and why? Well, making music as long as I have, even when I was in jail, I wouldn't even start writing, dog. I'd be making beats in my head, making beats in my head, like, Right, it was hard to do at first, but then I was like, I'm gonna do it, and I, and I just started doing it, and I just started flowing like that. And a lot of songs that I got, like uh, ASU, I wrote that in jail. You know what I mean? Yeah, check that out on YouTube, ASU. Uh, follow me on IG, cash underscore phrase, F-R-A-Z-E. Having credibility to go to any studio, why 
are you building your studio? You know, uh, making music as long as I have you, you see the mistakes, the things you like, the things you don't, and you, you slowly start to fix them, you know, yeah. as much as you can financially, or you, you come up with a way, you know? And uh, that's what I did, and it's like, having a schedule with somebody yeah. and they're like, oh, I can't this time, this time, it kind of, you kind of have to go extra, you know what I mean? And with this is like a shortcut. I'm right here, I wake up, I could just be in here, you know what I mean? Go to sleep, I'll be right, go to sleep in here, you know what I mean? Nobody got a rain check, nobody got to do shit. So also it was that I, I, I couldn't afford things sometimes, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's like, fuck, I got to pay this, pay this, pay this. I got to fucking do the graphic design for this, the video, and then go record. It's like, fuck, bro. So I learned, I learned my shit in the music by not being able to afford shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like, fuck it, I'm a beast it. YouTube, figure it out while I'm doing it. Learn to mix, master, shit like that, bro. And that's what I did. We were also talking about, you know what you want to hear. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. I, I, I know my sound more than anybody else does. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you could tell them as much as you can, but uh, sometimes it gets hard, it lags. Or it doesn't happen, you guys know me, it's like, fuck, it didn't work good. But fuck it, I'll roll with it. Like this, I hear exactly what I want. You know, you know even even with mine, just like you, you were saying on camera, uh, later on, you don't like it, you fix it yourself. You know yeah, I mean? exactly. And you always got the files right here, like, hey, send me the file. You don't yeah. lose them. You got them right here, put them in a hard drive, and you're good to go. That's it. That's all you need, a hard drive in case the computer crashes. <laughs> everything's yeah. saved. Other than going to somebody else's studio, you gotta call and pick up your phone. Uh, Fucking motherfuckers are playing games and shit, not saying no names. <laughs> hey, but uh, so these are uh, a few questions that I'm asking everybody, and um, one of the things I want to know about from you is how did you view like the game, the music industry before you started doing anything? You know what I mean? How yeah. did you view it and shit, man? Well, I loved it. You know what I mean? That's why I'm in it. I loved it, that shit, and like people that influenced me. And I wanted to be a mixture of everybody I liked. You know what I mean? And not copy them, but just I just flow what I do, and I just I just absorb what they did, and I and I, I came out with what I do. You know what I mean? And. Uh, I wanted to change it, especially Spanish. Not too many rappers were doing Spanish then. Now all kinds of people are. And I, I was flipping Spanish, doing melodies before I even heard Drake. Yeah. What I say? I said on one of my bars, I was, I was, I was making melodies in prison before Drake hit. You know what I mean? Shit like that, bro. And it's like, but some people come up before you, bro. And it looks like they did it first. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I did. He could have been doing it too for a long time, but, but shit, shit like that happens, bro. And uh. I just wanted to bring my own style into it, you know, and like not change with the times too much because you got to keep up, but you know what I mean, stay your style. And how about the business, like before you got in, how did you feel the business? Well, it's nothing like, nothing that, like I, what I expected, you know what I mean, and it's like, it's, it's a lot deeper than, than you think, and you got to know what you're getting yourself into sometimes because it doesn't come, it doesn't play out how you think sometimes, and then you feel like you got fucked. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I still got a lot to learn in the business. You know what I mean? Like I haven't even got to the point where it's like lawyers yet and shit. Have you ever had an offer by anybody? Yeah, I've had I've had offers, but to sign a deal. Yeah, I have, I have, but it, I don't feel, I, I didn't feel like it felt it fit my criteria of yeah. type of rap. There you go. You know what I mean? And I don't like to sell out like that. I probably will one day. You know, if they offer me the right amount of money, you never know, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm being yeah. real, but. Yeah, I, want, I, I think people like fuck up their whole, their whole like, man, you got it, man, it's just take your gun and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People sell out though. That's what it is. Yeah. But they say if you work a nine to five and you don't like it, you already sold out. <laughs> That's what they say. Like you, <laughs> right? Like you sell it now, bro. Look, you're doing something you don't like. But. You know what I mean? But I, but the grind is a grind, bro. You gotta do shit you don't like yeah, sometimes yeah. to be where you wanna be, you know what I mean? Well, you gotta start at the bottom, kind of. So yeah. you gotta fucking, you gotta, you gotta get your hands dirty a little bit here and there until you get uh -huh. your pockets right. And, uh, like now, so now, fucking, it's like more seeing the ins and outs. How do you view it now? Well, uh, the way I view it, <clears throat> Man, hip hop in general, you're saying? 
Yeah, like, like the, the business, business and the game. Oh, the business, the game. Well, I'm better at it, I'll tell you that. I'm better at it. I, I learned a lot of things that you need, little things that you have to go through in order to really learn them. And it can be explained to you. Yeah. You see how other people work yeah. and you think you grind. And like, like, like LV, for instance, we be doing my video, bro. And he be over grinding me on my own shit. It's like we're almost done shooting shit. No, he says we're done. We're done shooting shit, right? We dip and we're like heading to the cars and shit. And uh, he's like, oh, look, this is a good spot. Let's go there. It's like three in the morning, bro. I'm like, bro, I still need to drive home. He's like, fool, it'll be real quick, bro. I'm like, all right. You know what I mean? That type of shit. You, you see the grind, bro. And you see who really with it and who ain't. You know what I mean? And the consistency just builds you to a bigger person. The little, the little consistency steps. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I forgot, I forgot the name, but someone was talking about I'm talented, but the success didn't come from my talent. It came, it, it came from Grind. me grinding. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. It's like, like a whack rapper that grinds yeah. and and a, and a dope yeah. rapper that doesn't. It's like the, what's it called? Just the fucking. That that's just that's nature, man. You know what I mean? You fucking. Yup. You didn't get up off your ass all day, guess what? You ain't gonna get no motherfucking money. Yeah, it's like a natural law or some shit. You know yeah. what I mean? The grind got to come with it, bro. How do you feel about mistakes? And what are some of the biggest mistakes that you made? Let's see. In the, in the music game. Uh, the biggest mistakes? I think was going to jail. You know what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, it built the persona that I am now. So it's like, damn, because I feel like I wasted a lot of time there. I could have been doing a lot of shit. I missed a lot of opportunities that if I was out, I could have handled. But, you know, in and out, in and out, not really focusing. Even people that I was in the squad with kind of was iffy about me, not because of my talent or nothing, but because, like, if we do something, if we got a deal or something, like a tour, is he going to get locked up in between it? Yeah. Like, if we're gonna have a song and he's gonna be missing, we didn't even edit it because he was supposed to be there. Yeah. Like, shit like that. Those were big mistakes, you know what I mean? You kind of get the reputation for unreliability. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. That's not good. And, uh, but yeah, I, I learned shit like that. I learned about money. I learned, like, I've got scammed by people for fucking promotion. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're super legit, supposedly, but then I. Later, after I find out they scam me, I go look and it's another person's page and it's like, fuck, bro. You know, but you just gotta know who you fuck with. Try to keep the same squad, a team yeah. around you that you know you could trust. You know what I mean? That's, that's a big thing, too. And, uh, like, I, I always, I always want to give a gang of credit to, to you because uh, you never forget me, man. You know, and, uh, and that's why I always try to, like, we always tapping each other back like so I, I support him he'll support me and not not that that that's uh, like we're we're playing some type of funny game you know yeah what I mean? yeah but yeah not for you it's like a respect thing you know what I mean and yeah. you don't have to man because sometimes people just just take and they'll turn around you know what I mean be like you know what I mean that's what I feel you I, I feel I got you my, I got my little my little whatever whatever from him you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'm out. Sorry. I'm good. I always gotta, I always gotta give you uh, respect, man. And, Appreciate and, that. And thank you for every time you, you know, holler at me for anything and shit, man. I appreciate that, bro. And I, and and you, you cool peeps. That's why I like, I like fucking with you. And you know, and I see you have, you grind too. I respect people that grind. You know, and and, and you cool as fuck, bro. And I like your style too. Your rap too. And. Uh, you know, I try not to forget about nobody because I know how the average motherfucker is, bro. And I, and I try not to be that, bro, you know? Even though it's underrated nowadays, bro, it's not valued as much as it should be with people. But I try to be solid as I can, bro. And, like, I remember when I was in, like, elementary school or junior high, a lot of people in my yearbook, bro, they told me, never change. You know what I mean? The, the, you know, and that's kind of stuck with me. I don't know if that kind of built me to, to stay the way I am because go to jail, do this, do that. I, I don't come out different, bro. I'm not like, hey, I'm cool now. It's like, you just absorb the good and that's it. Stay you, you know what I mean? So, uh, with the conclusion of this video, 
what are some a little bit of advice you would have for another artist that's entering what we've been in? Man, that's a good question. Um, I would say um, roll with somebody that can guide you that's been there. Like I have a nephew that wants to rap and like I'm the perfect person that that can guide them the right way, bro, because I've been through all the mistakes and stuff, and they just have, they can shortcut through that. So find a, a good, a good-hearted pe person that won't fuck you, you know, and will roll with you and uh, show you, show you, open up the doors, you know, for the music like that. That's what I would say, and uh, and just listen and be careful. Don't don't be quick to j just jump on anything. You know I mean, if you really believe you got talent, then then they'll come out. You just gotta grind every day, step, step, steps every day. Hey, well, cash phrase in the motherfucking house. You know. You know thank you for uh, doing this this interview, dude. All right, I want to give a big shout out to M Mind Recordings and Master Mangao. You know, that's my boy right there. Good looking out for this interview. I appreciate everybody tuning in. A lot of new shit coming for the 2020. Master Mangao, cash underscore phrase F R A Z E. I appreciate everybody. Uh, be blessed and uh, good vibes to you on this 2020. I'm out. Cash freezing the BZ. <laughs>